This is the time, and this is the place. And this is FC3 Monkey Business, your one-stop shop for everything geeky. And since anything can be geeky, if you love it enough, you never know what you're going to get. This is your host, IMC, and it is Halloween. Happy Halloween, everybody. Happy Halloween. All right. I can't wait for the Milky Ways. (laughs) There you go. And in honor of the day, we're going to be talking about our favorite Halloween movies and TV episodes. After that, stick around for our usual question of the week. We got another full house this week. We love do. having everybody back in the in the business today. So Billy and Tanya are here. Sherry's here. Monk is here. Intern Tony. I'm here. He's a staffer. He's not in. I know. I, intern Tony sounds better. It's got like a better flow to it than staffer I agree. Tony. Yeah. That's it. I mean, my official title is staffer, but intern does have a better ring. You intern know? Tony. That's just his new name. That's his new yeah. name. That's uh, his now, moniker. It's uh, My le- name has legally been changed to intern Tony. There it is. <laughs> Ten Ton Tony is another one entirely. I knew a guy in college. There's a who, p- pizza place in Rondequay called Ten Ton Tony's, I think. Uh, anyway. I, I went to ho- college with a guy who legally changed his name to Dude. Dude? Really? That was it. Just Dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. No, no. Was his, was his original name Lebowski? Anyway. Anne's here. Hi. Hi, Anne Liebeck. How are you? Just wonderful. I am so happy to see you. Two weeks in a row. It's amazing. The magic of radio. And still in the studio with us. I, sh- I think we left her here accidentally. It was, it's, it's... Hi, Angela. Hi. Sure, I just brought her back. Yeah. Dr- brought her back. With her. She yeah. had so much fun she last week, she came me. back. <laughs> I, will kid- I will kidnap Angela all the time. She is one oh. of my favorite people in all of roller derby Aww. world. Yay. And I'm not just saying that because you're sitting in front of me. <laughs> That's so nice. <laughs> She could cool. do a Halloween route right around the whole table. Horror, horror, Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. She gave her two cents in. All right. So, what's up? What have we done this week? Nothing? Uh, um, Has it been that boring of a week? No, we're... We're, we're still recovering from Minicon? Yeah, exactly. And then that thing happened and another thing happened. And... <laughs> Did you see that? Anne was supposed to uh, keep tabs on Michael, and then oh, yeah. she got lost. And, w- and uh... found him in the Victoria's Secrets. And... <laughs> no, it's... um. Ooh, so sexy. What is the name of that store? Oh, the one right the corner. Yes. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, right by the command table. Yeah, yes. that was. I, I, I missed the candy shop that was there last year. Yeah, I know. I, I really do. Honestly, did, don't did, remember anything did that Bill- happened. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> did we get Billy out of Lollipop Farm? They we get, rescued him from the library. Did we, did we get him we out of Lollipop re- Farm? They don't allow the adoption of black cats in the month of October. Right. So. Yeah. How you doing there, Monkey Girl? People are. Uh, mean. Later today, my boyfriend and I are going to watch Halloween movies. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> What's your boyfriend's name? Adam. Hi, Adam. Adam, you're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Can we not? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Seriously? He's... He read something entirely different. <laughs> wow. Can Man, not even not? my mind went there this time. Holy Christmas. Because you consider her one of your kids, too. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Sorry. Monk is my third child. I, I Not, like, biologically speaking, but, you know. <laughs> Sooner or later, her. they'll grow up. Yes. Not mine. Anyway. <laughs> what, what was the old phrase? How can you be having sex? I'm not dead yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, um, yeah. So, yes, we've recovered. Sort of. Maybe? No. <laughs> but has Where the mall. am I? Who are you people? But has, <laughs> the has the mall recovered? <laughs> has the mall recovered? I don't know. The mall happen? keeps inviting us back, so there must be, we must be doing something right. That's the only thing I can think of is that they keep calling, they keep calling Brian after one's done, and they're like, when are you doing the next one? Um, so nice. We were planning on doing another one, but we can. Sure. No, you have to do another one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the mall stores see a boom. It's a they do. So they what's actually... your Halloween costume this year, Tanya? Um, I didn't have a party, so I don't have a Halloween costume for this year. You don't have a Halloween costume this year? No, because my party would have been this past weekend, but we were at Minicon. So you, you, you're not gonna like take Riker trick or treating or anything like that? Um, actually, my parents are coming up later to take. Riker trick or treating. So you so. have nothing to do this year. I'm hoping that I'm handing out candy like I did last year, but I was bundled on the front porch and it was cold. So yeah, it's gonna I'm be not chilly looking tonight. forward to that. Yeah, it's gonna be chilly I, tonight. Well, it's... and Riker picks and chooses which houses he goes to. I'm like, if you're gonna go out and get candy, go to all the houses. He's like, No, that's got spooky music. I'm not going there. <laughs> <laughs> he could not you know, come to my house. For, for being so brazen, that boy's a wimp. Uh, and you know 
Halloween is like our favorite time of the year in our it's house. The so most we, spooky time. We go of the all year. out and things like that, uh-huh. but yet we there's certain things that we can't put out until Halloween night because my kids don't like the zombie babies, but they're adorable. The zombie babies are hilarious I'll at Randy Tanya's you, house. I'll have to send you pictures of what we do. We have a whole um, cemetery. Mm-hmm. We have spooky music. We yeah, have, we're uh, a little uh, um, late. We were a little late putting our stuff up this year. The thing so. is, it's uh, it's Wednesday, and I, I don't expect there to be a lot of trick or treaters because it's a school night. So, yeah, yeah. I think you'd be last surprised. Year, I think we turned our light uh, over the last couple of years. We've our lights have been off by like eight eight fifteen. I mm-hmm. think yeah. last year it was like on a Tuesday, and we mm-hmm. only got like three trick or treaters. Like in the entire night, they go further back in our development rather than on our street because yeah. we're the first street. They go. All the way back. Maybe gotcha. they give bigger candy bars back there. I don't Maybe. know. Maybe. But I, mean, but I, I know we've got about six bags of candy. candy. I kind of, I kind of blame my mom because my mom uh, gets scares like the, everyone away. No, she gets like bag. <laughs> uh, she gets like the bag Cheez Its or like oh, bag like oh. stuff. And I'm like, mom. That's not what you give out on Halloween. You're having See, nickel. No, <laughs> I have I have six small children living in the house next to me, so I know exactly what's going to happen. Is whether my lights are on or not. They're going to knock. Junior is going to be at my door knocking away Jeffrey at it. Jeffrey <laughs> Mr. Neighbor Guy. Yeah, that's. It, <laughs> I've introduced myself on several occasions in the past two and a half months now, but they still call me Hi, Mr. Neighbor. <laughs> well, it should be my neighbor. Hi, Mr. Neighbor. See, when we lived in Syracuse, I loved it because we were the first house in a good neighborhood. Right. And they would take all the kids from the not so good neighborhoods mm-hmm. and they would bring them in by the carload and they would drop them off in front of our house. So we would literally, we couldn't go in. We had to sit outside because we would literally get between five and 800 kids, depending wow. on the weather. It was mm-hmm. crazy, and I loved it. And now in Clinton, they're doing more and more in the center of the town. And we're only, like, we're not even a mile from the center of town. Mm-hmm. And we, last couple of years, we're lucky if we get 20 kids. Hmm. And I miss it. I miss seeing the costumes. Yeah, that was I miss that's the best. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know what you need to do then? You need to move. <laughs> <laughs> Just set up shop down you for the have, night. You like, your own booth. <laughs> yeah, get, a, get an FC3 kiosk going on down there. <laughs> I have a pop-up tent I can send down with you. Let me tell you, I'm about ready to start doing some Mighty Monkey stuff down in, in the central New York area. Why not? I want to. Well, we, we spread like a virus. Billy, <laughs> are you doing yes. a Halloween costume this year? I'll be dressed as the old grumpy guy sitting in his house in the dark. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I, I'm also, too, doing that. Okay. Well, yeah. did Ryan have her baby? Yet? Oh, uh, Polly's wife? Yeah. No. Oh. She uh, may soon. <laughs> soon. It's going to happen. So, so you're the grumpy guy that's going to be behind, uh, filling in for Polly? Yeah, getting yeah. up at two in the morning. Oh, oh, God. When I did that, it was called insomnia. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and are you dressing up for Halloween tonight? I am. What are you going to dress as? I am a witch. Going to be a witch? Because we did it for a trunk or treat. We uh-huh. did a whole Harry Potter car for trunk or treat for Girl Scouts. Trunk or treat is what? We decorate a car from mm-hmm. each one of our Girl Scout troops, uh-huh. and then the girls trick or treat to each car, and then we vote on who has the best car decorated and then the best costume. Nice. So we have 122 Girl Scouts that oh, are going to trunk or treat with us. Holy Christmas! That's going to be a lot of fun. That's cool. How about you, Angela? Probably not. Mm-hmm. Um, I probably have to work, and I don't know how many kids we'll get. We just moved to a house, so I don't know what the neighborhood's going to look like. Right. I think a lot. It's kind of a cul-de-sac, but yeah. I don't know. Are, you got games? I might. Ooh. It's sectionals. It's oh, playoff that's time. Right. So that's right. things vary from time to time. Running people over for a living. Weather changes things. So. And you, yes. young lady, are you going to be doing a uh, Halloween costume tonight? Probably not. No. Probably not. Are we too old for that now? No. No. I'm just um, too tired. Okay. <laughs> no, no. Fair enough. If, if, Chris. if we were going somewhere, I would, but just to, because I'll just be passing out candy. Gotcha. Or, yeah. or going, maybe going to a game night. We haven't decided. There's a Halloween-themed game night going on in our area. If, Interesting. If it makes Go you Tony. feel any better, I'll be wearing the same costume that I wore during con. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, goody. Yeah. A hungover the, 21-year-old? The, no, no, no. No, no. no he's, talking, he's talking about the Wonder Woman tights that he was wearing on Saturday. <laughs> no, I, no. I can't get that picture out of my mind now. Thanks. You, on, guys, you tried. You, you tried. Uh, you tried. The unicorn uh, hat. Yeah, the like, unicorn uh, hat. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I still I, I keep teasing him with that. One of these days, he's going to be dressed as Wonder Woman. I'm going to be like, what? Uh, 
Stop that. No, the one that could pull it off is John Barrowman. Well, yeah, because that man is fearless. Do that. that man is absolutely fearless. Did you know Monk was down? Yes, I did see her. I saw her there. Hi, Monk. She are you what? dressing up for uh, Halloween tonight, or are you just going to be in with Adam watching Halloween movies? Horns and corset. Horns and corset. Horns and corset. Okay, and... Adam, like I said, screwed. <laughs> <laughs> And while they hang out, while they hang out at her parents' house, yes, with her grandmother home. Hey, you know <laughs> that's just mean. Yeah, that's grandma's like, mean. you go, girl. <laughs> all right, all right, you miscreants. We're gonna take a quick break. When we come back, we're gonna be talking about her favorite Halloween TV show and movie episodes, or movie and TV show episodes, or something like that. We're gonna be talking about Halloween. Halloween <laughs> trick or treating. Trick or treat. I got a rock. I got a rock. <laughs> it's holiday time, which is nice. Halloween seems to get bigger every year. I noticed a pattern this year with uh, girls' costumes. Girls will take a typically altruistic career, such as librarian, nurse, maybe nun, and turn her into a whore. Which is nice. Very, very nice. They're not kidding. Some girls take no. it too far, They're totally though. not kidding. No. I saw a naughty Rosa Parks. I was like, jeez. <laughs> She just died. She's like, I can sit anywhere I want on the bus dressed like this. I'm like, be that as it may. 100% accurate. Yep. Uh, ay, ay, ay. That's so true in regards to teen costumes. Halloween is one of the most popular holidays for a reason. It, the creative costumes, tons of candy, scary movies, and themed TV episodes. So grab your popcorn, boys and girls, and listen in because... We're going to be talking about our crew's favorite Halloween movies and episodes. Um, we are resplendent with them. Tony, you made mention last week of Simpsons. I yeah. mean, they've made kind of an art form uh, out oh of yeah, it's like, uh, the Halloween honestly, episode. Honestly, if you, it, it's stereotypically <laughs> their most viewed episode mm -hmm. out of any season, uh -huh. um, mostly because it's become a bit of a tradition with them. And it always goes off book. It's like completely oh, yeah. just. Yeah, I mean, they break down three sketches. Um, mm -hmm. Or two sketches. They did that, like, I think two years ago. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Um, but, uh, yeah, they do it that way. The the one we were talking about this morning in regards to um, Simpsons was the one where the um, lunch lady, Doris, had uh, was cooking up all the kids. Yeah, I remember that And one. serving it to the staff. And it was we were like, another sloppy last week, Jimbo. Yeah. Lunch lady, whatever, and so uh -huh. like and Mrs. Krabappel's like, are, are you saying that we're eating the children? And it's like, oh, it's so young and impu impudent, <laughs> impudent, impudent. <laughs> yeah. My uh, my personal favorite one is uh, Homer Cubed. Um, it's uh, the one where Homer goes oh. into like yes, the, the third, third dimension. dimension. Don't Mo go towards the light. Yeah. Uh, I remember watching it, and uh, I remember seeing numbers flashing on the screen. And now that I'm like in college and have learned stuff about like hexadecimal and Euler's equation. I'm Bless like, you. hey, I know what that means. <laughs> like, um, there's so a... it's only the computer nerds that got that reference. They're when... playing with my head. <laughs> Do you see a light, Homer? Yes. Don't go towards the light. Oh. <laughs> uh, fun fact, like the hexadecimal like uh, code that flashes on the screen uh, translates literally to Frank rules. Nice. <laughs> As in... I do. No. No, not Frank. Oh. <laughs> Frank, like Professor Frank. Oh, I see. Okay. I, I heard Frank. That's not very funny. Okay. How about you, Billy? Actually, I was just thinking about this, and uh, does anybody remember the Halloween episode of Freaks, Freaks and Geeks? I'm sorry, I don't. I have not seen that show. Oh, it's hilarious and sad, and <laughs> it's, I highly recommend it. If you haven't watched this show, just Freaks and Geeks in general. Okay. But, um... You know, it's got the three geeks, uh, mm -hmm. the ones we identify, and then the the three or four um, cooler kids who mm -hmm. are, and one is the younger brother, and the other is the older sister who's starting to hang out with the cool kids. Okay, and she accidentally eggs her brother uh, trick or treating. Okay, and oh, it's, it's, I do remember that. Uh, it, it's heartbreaking. It's hilarious. I'm try still trying to figure out why kids are trick or treating in broad daylight. That I didn't <laughs> get, but. It's just they a wonderful in show. Area. It's a California thing. It, it's a wonderful show, and I highly recommend the series in general. But uh, how many seasons was that? Just one. Just the one just season. One brilliant, awesome season. It's so good. I agree. And uh, the Halloween episode. It, it has to. Do, Lindsay, the older girl, 
is uh, she sort of ditched her mom. Her, her and her mom usually had a Halloween tradition of hanging out, handing out the candy. And Lindsay wanted to go hang out with her friends. And Sam, the younger boy, is sort of just on the edge of not being old enough to trick or treat. And him and his friends go out, hopefully for one last time, and they wind up getting embarrassed. And it's cringe comedy. It's heartfelt. It's beautiful. And mm-hmm. I the, love freaks and geeks in general. So. Yeah, the actress who plays Lindsay um, grows up to be um, the person that Tanya probably envies the most. <laughs> she grew up to play um, Hawkeye's wife in the Marvel movies. Oh, uh, Linda Cardinelli. Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she I've plays, seen her in several things. And She's did, awesome. Did you watch Bones? Yeah. Um, the younger brother was played by the actor who played Sweets. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that was a cool character too, yeah. by the way. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm there. It's got it's got a great cast. Freaks and Geeks. I haven't so gotten many, um, I haven't so gotten many big names. names. Yeah. So many big. Jason names. One of the guys. Siegel, I was going to say yeah. One of the guys from How I Met Your Mother's in it. James right? Franco. Okay. Seth Rogen. Busy yeah. Phillips. Wow. Yep. That's yeah. some, those Tanya, are names. That, that, that's Her- a show we're going to talk more about in the future, you and I. Okay. <laughs> that's I think we should do a podcast seen, about it. So I guess I have to One start of these days watching we'll do a it. podcast on Freaks and Geeks, I think. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I'm not familiar with the show other than I know yeah. it exists. Well, Tanya and I have been kicking around an idea <laughs> for a spinoff. Oh, look at you two go. <laughs> a spinoff <laughs> podcast where okay. we're going to review... Uh, shows that um, only made one, two, or three seasons, and we're you're going to have a lot of material to play so with. So we're not doing oh, yeah. Supernatural, we're not doing NCIS, yeah. we're no. not doing X Files. <laughs> no, but Freaks and Geeks are on the list. NCIS uh, episode four thousand five hundred twenty-two. Firefly, Veronica Mars, stuff okay. like that are all on the list. Veronica Mars coming back for a fourth season. It soon. is. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I think it's going to be on Hulu. I'm going <laughs> to have to. I'm going to have to steal someone's Hulu password. It's only like seven ninety nine a month. My Hulu password. Mm-hmm. I, you don't have to steal it. I okay. will. All right. And do you I have a Halloween episode library. that you liked or watched recently? Not necessarily with television. Um, uh-huh. I watch a lot of them and I like them, but I'm yes. more of a watching the same Halloween movies every year, like Halloween Town. Such Okay. Halloween Town. I remember that one. Juliana made me sit through that once. That was, that was a fun one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That was a cute one. Yeah. I like them. Those are actually three of them. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Halloween stars. Town 1, Halloween Town 2, Return yeah. to Halloween Town, and, and... Return of Calabar. Yeah. That's and Halloween one. Town 3, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> no? Not that one? Yeah, okay. that's exactly what it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he says, yeah, that, that's exactly right, Chris. Shut up. <laughs> you and I both go there every time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the sequels. Yeah. Electric Boogaloo. Uh-huh. Well, I mean, come on. How can you not use that? Please, we had... I we... haven't even seen this one. We actually had, um, we actually used to have a uh, Patreon uh, <laughs> yes, we level did. that was did Electric have... Boogaloo. <laughs> yes, we did. But it was In the a... early days. Yes, but when we tightened them up, that one kind of fell yeah. away. You fell away, seen Halloween Town? I don't think so. Oh, they're all really, really good. There's something yeah, I think even Riker would like. They're, they're not uh... overly scary, but they're still really Disney cutesy. Yeah. That's, I, that's the best way to describe it. Yeah. Yeah. Disney. It's, is it a Disney? It is yeah, Disney. Disney. Well, then there Disney you have it. Was, uh, right it was okay. on the original uh, Disney Channel. That, well, not the original Disney oh. Channel, but like the Disney Channel of my youth. <laughs> mm-hmm. I remember Jules was like 11, so a good five years ago now at this point. And yeah, it, was it was going to be on. Yeah. And she she had been like vibrating because she was so excited to, to that Halloween time was going to be on Thursday night or something like that. She goes, Dad, we have to watch it. We have to watch it. I'm like, whatever, whatever, whatever. And then so finally it came around, and, and I'm like, oh, this is really a thing? I have to sit through the Okay. <laughs> so I made snacks, and we sat down, and I giggled. It was cute. And um, I, I, it's not a movie I'd want to go out of my way to see again. But she was just bouncing around the room with glee, how much she enjoyed watching that movie. And she so. was monk. Oh, yeah. That's, <laughs> Sherry and I have basically the same daughter, just in different bodies. <laughs> it's, it's in essence it. Juliana and, and Alana they're, are... They're spirit sisters. They're spirit sisters. They yes. really are. Especially when, when Jules gets excited about something, it's, it's phenomenal to watch, mm-hmm. watch it in action. So, all right, Halloween Town and, uh, and, and Simpsons and... <laughs> Billy, what would... What Freaks did, and Geeks. Freaks, Freaks and, and geeks. geeks. So, Freaks and Geeks, <laughs> Simpsons, Halloween Town, and Sherry. MASH. MASH did a Halloween episode. They did. It was called it was called Tricks and Treatment. How funny. And um I'm you know me, I'm a huge Nerd. MASH. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I, M- MASH is one of the best shows. It, it is. Really it is, is. A great, it really it's a great fantastic is. show. And this was a really I mean, it was eleventh season, so it was Winding down. Pretty much late, but when they were really doing I mean, in early days they really tried to stay funny. <laughs> Later days they really got 
more balance. It was the mm-hmm. first dramedy. Almost. Yes. Yeah. And um, this particular one, um, it's Halloween, and they're all dressed up in costumes. Mm-hmm. And um, like people of note, George Went was okay. in it, and Andrew Dice Clay oh, was in it. Wow! It was it was like his second TV appearance ever. Amazing. Um, but they're all they're like they're having a Halloween party and. Charles doesn't want to be part of it, so he's doing... Surprise, surprise. He's like, uh, George Wynn comes in with a pool ball stuck in his mouth. Oh, no. oh I remember that. <laughs> and uh, most... Of, and then, of mm. course, they start getting casualties, and they start getting serious <laughs> stuff. Like, there was <laughs> like there was a gentleman um, who came in, and they were talking about how thin he was, and it turned yeah. out that he was... He had become anorexic because he had... Um, he had gone to get seconds... Mm-hmm. At dinner, he had got left his foxhole to go get seconds, and when he came back, everybody in his foxhole was dead. Oh mm. wow! So survivor's guilt made okay. him so he couldn't eat. It was make it make him sick to even think about food. And um, so they get casualties in, and they're and through the whole episode, they're telling each other ghost stories at the party during the op in the operation room. Um, they're they're telling ghost stories, and nobody's believe. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but they're, but they're having a lot of fun with it, trying to keep their spirits up. Uh-huh. And um, one guy comes in, and he's like, "No pulse, no nothing." So he they they and then Graves comes. Um, the truck comes to. It's called Graves Res- Registration. Mm-hmm. Um, comes and Father Mulcahy had been at a party at the um, at the orphanage that he helped with, and um, he comes back and he asks, "Was there any deaths?" And he's like, "Oh, well, just one." But he came in that way, and he's like, "Oh, well." Hold on a second. I want to give him last rites. And he goes to give him last rites, and he reaches down to uh, make the sign of the cross on his forehead, and he realized that tears are leaking from the man's eyes. Oh, wow. He was actually alive. Okay. And he saved his life. And that was like the whole thing was, while we were telling ghost stories, Uh you were a living one and were the hero. Uh Uh-huh. So it was a really good episode. That is it, had, cool. it had a lot of fun things for a lot of characters. It had funny stuff. It had serious stuff. I really that's why I like MASH so much. Yeah. Is, is these types of things. So for um, a show that lasted four times longer than the actual <laughs> event that it chronicled. <laughs> it covered a lot of ground. Yep. Yes, it did. So all right. I like that. Yeah. Now, Monk, did you have a particular episode or a movie that you wanted to talk about? Uh, let's start with Hocus Pocus. Yeah, you had mentioned that last week. That's the the Bette Midler movie, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. The Three Sisters. Yes. I don't oh understand goodness. the popularity of that movie. I'm going to be honest. Fun. I've watched it twice. The first time was obligatory. The second time was to see if I actually would like it. And and I'm sorry. I, I just I don't get it. Oh, I, so I, so preach to me. Tell me what's going on with that I, one. I have a. It's a lot of fun. It's it's one that we we've watched since I was little. It's it's classic. I just it's for me it's a oh hey, it's Halloween season. <laughs> and I the wit I love the look of the witches cuz they're uh-huh. they're very colorful and they can be really funny. And Sarah oh, Jessica look! Parker was actually pretty. It's a, it's a what? Oh sorry. <laughs> I did, I, yeah, I said that. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. But anyway. And but moving I, on. Oh my god. <laughs> Zachary Binks. Is played by the same guy who does Tim McGee. Oh, is that really? Is that oh. him? Yes, okay. it's me. <laughs> he, doesn't, he, he doesn't do the voice of the cat. Uh huh. But when after he Zachary Binks is is let free, and uh-huh. is no longer the cat, and he's the spirit. And in the begin, so in the beginning and the end, the character is played by, by Tim McGee Tim, by uh, that actor from yeah. NCIS. Okay. Yeah. You know what's funny. You know that's a, that's a thing I want to talk about sometime is is how you have seen these famous people Sean Murray in in yes. the old in old movies and old TV shows you see them when they're in you remember you remember the character but you didn't know the person yet oh I do that all the and time and then suddenly once once you once you know it's the person after the fact you're like now you can't see anything else yes it's really weird because I remember seeing a movie and thinking okay that guy was pretty cool in it and and then years later I'm like. All right, you know, okay, so I see this actor in all the TV and movies that he's doing, and then you go back to the original movie, and you're like, yeah. oh, God, that was George Clooney? Holy shit, okay. <laughs> yeah, I do that with Supernatural all the time. Yeah. I'm like, oh, my God, I totally forgot he was, he was in, in this. this. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. I saw a uh, movie with uh, Hayden Christensen in it, and I was like, I didn't realize it was Hayden Christensen until I saw was the credits. It, um, and I was like, because the acting was good. Train tra- was it Train Spotting? Uh, Hayden Christensen is a good actor. Yeah, he had. Uh, they, but the they, thing is, is we all know him for the crappiest work he ever did because George Lucas can't write dialogue. Yeah. You know, so uh, that's the that poor kid is suffering for that. I saw him in uh, Jumper, and I saw him yeah. in. Um, it was one about a pizza shop where the families like split up. I forget. Oh, I, I remember. What, I can't yeah, think of the name of either, but I know what either. you're talking about. Yeah. yeah, Jumper was all right. That was it. Was Jumper bad. was decent. Yeah, I mean, for what it was, yeah. um, a movie with minimal source material and yeah. uh, trying to jump into a superhero genre that hadn't yet been formed yet. Really true. Yeah. Yeah. True. True. You know, speaking of supernatural, I used to watch because my aunt watched it when I was uh, when I was younger. Um, I watched Days of Our Lives. Mm-hmm. So you saw you saw I saw Jensen, Jensen Ackles, Ackles. <laughs> but did not but didn't, didn't process because it, oh, it wasn't I, Jensen Ackles. Oh, right. my friend yeah. used to watch that, and I yeah. do yes. remember seeing him in that. Yeah. As soon as I saw Supernatural, I'm like Days of Our Lives because <laughs> nope, I, I watched Days of Our Lives, and I'm just like I that's why I can't get past him being um um Sammy Brady. No, not Sammy. Um. <laughs> Something, whatever. Anyway, Sammy Sammy's was brother. the sister. Yeah. Sammy's brother. <laughs> Moving and, on. So I'm just like, that's why I'm no. just like, couldn't get. Yeah. I'm just like, oh, he's a teenage soap opera star type yep. thing. But it, but in the in the radio business, this is called the perfect segue because you've mentioned Supernatural, and that's the episode that Tanya and I watched recently. Yep. Was was the it's the Great Pumpkin Sam Winchester from Supernatural uh, season four, episode what? eleven. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah was it? Um. It's just like I didn't necessarily say this was like a favorite Halloween episode, but no, I just, it was just like typed a Halloween in, episode from I, one of your favorite shows, right? From one of my favorite shows. And yeah. for a show about horror, they surprisingly did not do a lot of Halloween stuff. No, because no. because Sam says, yeah. Well, Dean, we, Sam and Dean at one point like, or another make a make the comment that every day is Halloween right, for us. Yeah, yeah. yeah type thing. And he's like, well, you know my my take on Halloween, and they mm-hmm. and it was something from a previous episode or whatever, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. I just couldn't. Because it's close to the anniversary of his mother's death and Jessica's death. His girlfriend's his death. His girlfriend's yeah. death. Yeah. So, yeah. So, um, but then, like, when we were watching it, I'm like, oh, sh- she's from Pretty Little Liars. That, that's <laughs> yeah, what Amber I was Benson. doing. And Ashley, yeah. Oops, sorry. That's Ashley funny. Benson. So yeah. I'm just like, oh, did. So I'm like, was it the best episode of Supernatural? <clears throat> no. No. But it was one that Chris is like, oh, da- he had to. Yeah, there was a couple of moments where was I was the like, razor blades coming out it was of the, the razor throat. blades coming out of the guy. Yeah, I was uh, like, they, oh, uh, I'm not watching this part because I'm a little creeped out. <laughs> it's just not looking good. There's a couple <laughs> of episodes of Supernatural that I'm just like, yeah, I'll hide behind re- the pillow. Did Thank you, you very really much. have to go there? My big problem with that episode is the God. Just You're real? It, no, no, the God. Sam Hain. Sam Han. Sam, which we're mispronouncing apparently. First of all, it's a mispronunciation, and second of all, he wasn't a God. It's a holiday. Right. It's okay. Samhain. Samhain. <laughs> Samhain is the correct pronunciation, and it's this season. Mm-hmm. Right. It's it's final harvest. Are so. Halloween episodes not as prevalent or memorable as Christmas episodes of TV shows? Yeah. I I, I think in that's general, correct. It might, yeah. de- it might depend on the show. Well, here's the thing yeah. is, I think in, in recent years, people have kind of shied away from it because of The Simpsons. Yeah. yeah. The Simpsons have made it into an art form. It's like the, it's like the Super Bowl yeah, of, yeah. of their season. Simpsons, is, the first thing I think of is the, is the Halloween, Halloween episodes. Right. Yeah. You know, does Simpson, do mm-hmm. the Simpsons even do a Christmas episode? I don't know. I think to. their first one was a Christmas episode. Wasn't their first it? season, I think, had a Christmas yeah. one, but yeah. I don't. Th- I, after Because the dog is Santa's little helper. They yeah. got it from Santa. Right. Uh, but they, they had like three Christmas specials, but um, the Halloween special was definitely like much more popular than their. Christmas special. And that's kind of their thing now. That's like yeah. one of their... That's like one of the things that they can do consistently well it's and pull in a lot of viewers. Of yeah. Can I tell you, I haven't watched The Simpsons probably since high school, and I had no idea what you guys are talking about with Halloween episodes. I wasn't allowed to watch Halloween. I wasn't allowed to watch The Simpsons yeah. until after I graduated high school. My mom did not allow it. Uh, annual thing called the Treehouse Horror. Oh, no, I, I got it from yeah. the way you were talking, yeah. but I'm just saying, so to me, I'm just like, how is the Simpsons affecting whether we have Halloween episodes? <laughs> I, well, I just think I think, I think it's, it's become such a staple. Set. Yeah. And then you have your usual, you know, it's Hall- you know the great pumpkin, pumpkin Charlie, Charlie Brown, Brown and all the, you know, the usuals. So I think a lot of shows just kind of shy away from that. You know, it's, there's no point to it. They might make a reference to it. 
Like I've seen it on you know various TV shows. Like oh, it's Halloween season. Like I've, I've never been a fan of the TV show Roseanne even before she went nuts. Mm-hmm. But I hear but the, Halloween ha- the Halloween episodes. The Halloween episodes I always heard were very. Funny. They're actually very good. I think it was the '90s. A lot of the TV shows in the '90s did the Halloween episodes. Like look, ER. They always had. Halloween oh, did they really? Episodes. Yeah, and they were kind of cool. The very I only watched some of the first season of ER. Uh, because I was an RA on campus, and one of my fellow RAs was a nursing student, and she would make me watch. I would sit desk with her and watch it because it would be so intense that she had to have somebody in the room with her. <laughs> and and I'm like, is this the life you really want? <laughs> you know, it's just. She goes, well, it's gonna be it's gonna be less dramatic than that. I'm like, are you sure? <laughs> and then why are you making me watch this? There's people dying every fucking five minutes. What the hell? Come on, make it stop. So anyway, I think it's like entirely dependent on like um, the series. Like yeah. I, there are some series like uh, Star Wars Clone Wars, which have Halloween themed episodes, but aren't actually like they don't actually like overtly reference Halloween. It's just darker themed. Mm-hmm. Um, the one that springs to mind was uh, when I was like, re- when I was like, uh, I want to say 12 or 13 or whatever it was. It was like the first season of Star Wars Clone Wars and they had um the uh, they had their Halloween special. They didn't actually. Uh, that's how they advertised it. Mm-hmm. But like looking back, it's just a darker themed episode in the thir- first season. Yoda wore a Santa Claus costume. It was bad. Anyway, <laughs> no, no, that didn't happen. So Angela, do you have a episode or movie you? I don't have a favorite or anything. But I was thinking about it. The last one that I watched was Buffy. Uh, season four of Fear Itself. Okay. Which is so that's the so first year good. they're in college, yeah. It's one of my favorite episodes from that yeah. season. I love that. I love that episode. It's a good episode. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, near the favorite for my season, but mm-hmm. oh, I'm just... a Buffy snob, too. <laughs> I have to start it. We're I've, doing a I've Buffy wa- episode soon. I've watched, I think, two episodes of Buffy, and that was in 2016 when I flew to Florida. Huh. I saw mm-hmm. the first four so, seasons of I it and really enjoyed it, but it just... I know. I'm sorry, Ian. I got to get back into it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've, I've, no, Ian's it's having a heart show. attack over it's there. They, they were always... They were the same age as me, so I started watching it when it first started, and I was really into vampires still at the time, so it was no end. Like, I was definitely going to watch it no matter what. It was your... <laughs> as we put it around here, it was your catnip. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't actually watch start watching Buffy until I don't know maybe ten years ago, because um, one I I was actually a fan of the movie. I like the movie, and I could look at Christy Swanson and go, "Okay, she kicks ass. I can see mm-hmm. that. She's she's mm-hmm. she's built like a competition squad cheerleader." Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> and then I was looking at Sarah Michelle Gellar, and like she looks like a stiff wind would knock her over <laughs> because I didn't understand the mythology. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I just, and I'm like, no. Nah. And I just didn't have any interest because I was, I when that show came out, I was like. Yeah, it came out in 97. Okay. It was so, the first, it had half the season. Yeah, I was in my 20s. You were, I was, I was, we were both 25. Yeah, so it was like, it was like, yeah, I just really wasn't. But then um, I got sick and I was home for several days and I was, and it was back when you could get Hulu for free. And I watched Firefly and I loved it. And then I'm like, okay, so what else did he make? He made Buffy. Okay. And then I. Mm-hmm. Fell in love with Buffy, and made and I've done like I think four full watch throughs at this point. <laughs> once by myself, once with Chris, once with Monk, and then I think and I I did one another one by myself. How many seasons of Buffy are there? Seven. Seven. Okay, so if I can do seventeen seasons or what or eleven <laughs> seasons of NCIS, four hundred and twenty-seven yeah. seasons of NCIS, and I did that over <laughs> the, the first, summer. The first last season of year. Buffy is half a season anyway. Yeah, I, I put it this way: I binged NCIS once whole summer to get caught up for September. Oh, so really? I can do I it. I don't think I've ever watched NCIS. <sighs> but the first season of Buffy is a little rough, and then after that's better. I think that's, I still like it though. I think that's ways. what I was having issues with. Is just. Uh, they mm-hmm. have to find their place. Once yeah. they find who their characters are, mm-hmm. it just mm-hmm. grows from there. But there are some really good episodes. In there so. really are. But, you know, we should. We are going to have an entire. Ep- we're going to have an entire episode about Buffy. So we probably should stop. <laughs> I <don't, laughs> I, 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 it gives me it gives me homework for that. So there okay. you go. Could we, can we talk about pra- Practical Magic now? Oh, see, I love that movie. Uh, Nicole yeah, Kidman I, and yes. Sandra Bullock, right? Yeah. That's a fun movie. I haven't seen movie. it in years. I love oh, that movie. Oh, who are the ants? The ants, I don't go. It's, um, it's Diane Weist and, um, oh, God, um, what's her name? I can from, see her face from, from Greece. Greece and West Wing. Ch- uh, Great name, too. Channing. Oh, Stalker Channing. Stalker Channing. Yes. 
God, bless it, I'm getting old. Whenever oh, we're like man. cleaning the house, that's usually what's on for no apparent reason. Someone we, found it on the porch. We, anyway. have, we have an enclosed front porch that through most of the year, it, it just becomes a catch-all. Yes, but, the junk room. It, yeah, but that's the one time mm. a year that we use our front door is yes. Halloween. So we uh, we have to so probably so we have to do Scramble. cleaning. We have to get everything out of the way so we can do Halloween and we could have the kids coming to the front door. Um so, and it's, it never seems to fail when we're doing that cleaning. Mhm. Practical magic is Practical on. Practical magic is on. So we're listening to it. So for the for the years Lana had never seen the whole movie. She had seen the whole movie just not Realized it. In a row. <laughs> Not in a row. <laughs> so. I remember the first time I watched that movie, it was a date night, and I thought I was going to like, oh, God, chick flick. This is going to be horrible. And all right, fine. But I hunkered in, and I did the best I could. And by halfway through, I'm in this movie. I'm enjoying the hell out of this movie. And uh, like the, the you know Midnight Margaritas, that's a thing. Yep. All right. So, yeah, it's, I, I, you know, I, every time I hear Lime in the Coconut, that's, I think of that damn movie. Right, and and my favorite scene towards the end of that one is when the when they put together their coven, yeah. and it's all the women from the neighborhood, and the one lady brings in a dustbuster, right? <laughs> and I'm just getting a kick. I love that freaking movie. I think yeah. it's just hilarious. So and and it's just got so much. Think this would work on my ex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's sweep up, ladies. <laughs> and then you know, and then when you hear like behind the scenes stuff, I, I love behind the scenes stuff from any movie and TV show. But I always got a big kick out of of love. When they would find a way to interview, like during the anniversaries or close to Halloween season, they'll bring up some, and somebody, who, one of the character actresses who were one of the supporting, you know, the women of the neighborhood, and I can't remember her name, but she was one of the old, like the, the lead older ladies, and she was talking about how they all had these you know, great rooms and these bed and breakfasts, and they, they got together and they had tea together and they all the wonderful stories about what was going on behind the scenes, and then um, I can't think of his name, but the actor who played the villain Johnny. Oh, oh, Gordon, oh Gordon, Gordon, Gordon Vision, Vision, Nick. Yeah, yeah, Nick. From ER. From, from ER and whatnot. Yeah. And, he's you know, been on unse- I and think. when he showed up on set and he was, you know, smooching all the ladies and he was bringing flowers to everybody and he was, you know, sidling up he's to him. And he being an utter charmer and they were like all, they were all over him. And then poor, uh, God, the, the guy who played uh, Aiden Sandra Bullock. Aiden Quinn. Aiden no, Quinn. not Aiden Quinn, but the guy oh, who played one, Sandra Bullock's husband. Her, yes, her who went oh, on to? On. Oh. He went on to Royal Pains and and yeah. uh, uh, West Wing. He had a recurring role in West Wing. He was a great actor too. He's a lot of fun. He's a cool guy. Yeah. But anyway, you know how he was like, "Oh, Gordon's here," and you know, so nobody's going to notice I'm here anymore. They might as well just get to my death scene now because nobody wants me here anymore. You know, so that kind of <laughs> those stories were floating around. I loved that stuff, and yet that just enhanced my enjoyment of that particular movie. So, Practical Magic is actually yeah, it's one it's it's on the favorites list. And I never expected that movie. It's like I guess I would call it a guilty pleasure for me. <laughs> do, you, do you feel guilty? I don't feel guilty. So it's not a guilty pleasure. Okay, it's just good. a pleasure. Okay, well, <laughs> that's a different type of movie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen it. Practical Magic? No. Oh. I don't think I've ever seen it either. It's yeah. actually really good. It's it's. You know what? That was it's that fun. sound you heard? That was Lana's soul breaking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's on Netflix. It's a, yeah, Yay! it's a Netflixer. Okay. I guess I'll be watching so. it sometime soon. Yeah, <laughs> bring the tequila. Absolutely. I don't drink oh, tequila. My, hey, yes, you should. I only drink I it in now. margaritas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's a, that's the time I would have it. Yep. So, but yeah, that's not something I. I it, my my high school reunion was recently, and, and you found that you like tequila. Didn't uh, you? I've known I've liked tequila for a while now. Um, They've got some good ones down. But at it Salinas. was funny because at one point they were like. You know, so we got to do shots. We're like, we're, it's our 30th high school reunion. Everybody's like, let's do shots. So we go up to the bartender. We're like, okay, let's do a round of shots of tequila. She goes, I, I'm not allowed to do shots. I'm like, well, how about tequila neat? She goes, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sophistry. So it's all in the, all in the it's words. It's all in the presentation. Do we have anything else we want to talk about right now? Um, I watched a second episode um, the other day. Did you? I watched an NCIS episode. Uh-huh. And um, it was called Witch Hunt. And um, this is the one that McGee and Dinozo are floored by Abby's um, Halloween costume because she was coming from a Halloween party. What, what was she dressed as? Was it the Marilyn Monroe one? Yes. Okay. And then they're just like, uh, 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 <laughs> uh, like, and then doesn't Gibbs smack them both upside the head? All in the lab, oh, um, yeah. And then um, he stays back, and he sends Gibbs in. Or he sends um, 
McGee and Denozo out to do something, and uh, Abby's like, "Happy birthday, Mr. President," to Mark <laughs> Harmon's character, yeah, and he give. goes and he goes to leave, and she's like, "No, I've got more," and then you like whips right back around, and uh, so it it's a good episode. Yeah, it's cute. It's a, I like that one. How is that show surviving without her? Um, I'm not sure. I'm like, oh, I'm only a couple episodes in for the new season, the new season but. Um, not too bad because the person that's taken over in the lab is like, okay, now Abby said to do this and to to lead up to whatever, and they they're looking at her like, yeah, she's like, okay, never mind, type, type <laughs> thing, because she's like, okay, Abby told me to do blah 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 uh-huh. and lead up to this. You don't want that, do you? They're like, okay, we're just no. gonna get to it. We're gonna get to it. But and you know the, the absolute best Halloween show ever is Charlie Brown. Great pumpkin, the great pumpkin, Charlie, pumpkin, Charlie oh, yeah. Brown. I got a rock. Yeah, that that's <laughs> the that's greatest the line. quote ever. I got a right. I got a candy bar. I, I got, got a, jelly beans. I, I got, got a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that all he got? Yeah, yeah. Yes. he kept getting rocks because and he was dressed as a ghost with holes in the, all the, the all ghost the... costume with holes is the greatest pop culture reference. Anytime someone does mm-hmm. that in a, another show or what, it makes me laugh. Yes. I mean, out of curiosity, does anyone ever actually like choose tr- uh, trick when uh, trick or treating? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and and yeah, it, does. Anne's ballsy. You have to understand. <laughs> and don't play. We do um, um, trick or beer. Trick or beer. Where the neighbor, one neighborhood I'm we to your go house. to is um, you give candy and you carry a, a six pack with you and you rotate beers to everybody's house for oh, craft beers. Oh, that's cool. That is very cool. I remember when I was a kid, somebody didn't really understand the concept of trick-or-treat because they would make us do a trick in order to get the treat. And we're like, we don't want to go to that house anymore. (laughs) They make us perform. Still better than getting, um, used to get um, the Ten Commandments in a mini Bible. Oh Oh, my God. Worst thing I ever saw on Halloween, we lived, when we lived in Syracuse, the house across the street, a couple doors down, was, it was a reverend. Mm -hmm. That's fine. And you don't celebrate Halloween? That's fine. Turn your light off. Turn your light off. No. First of all, it was a very, very steep staircase because the, the house just, it was like up on a hill set way back. and you The had concrete to, ladders, basically. Yeah, it saying. was okay. terrible. It was terrible. And I brought Lana up. She was probably four. Mm-hmm. So that was a tough climb for a four-year-old. We got to the top because the light was on. Mm-hmm. And they were having a prayer meeting in the front room. <laughs> and we rang the bell, and the man turned around, looked right at her, and then turned his back. Oh, jeez. And I'm like, oh, you did not just turn your back on a small child. I'm uh-huh. like, just turn off your freaking light, and nobody will come. No, it was deliberate, and I was really upset, and we started, like, because we were across the street, we were like, don't go to that house. Don't yeah. go to that house. Yeah. Because as I said, most of the kids we got were really poor kids. Mm-hmm. I'm like, you do not shun poor kids on Halloween. No, I don't care. That's a good and, Christian for you. And you don't you. shun anyone that comes in, comes up to your house in costume. I don't care how old they are. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I've had RIT students come because I live in, in Henrietta. Mm-hmm. I'm like, if they're going to the extent to dress up and go out and have fun and they're not destroying things, because we've had RIT students come whipping through the neighborhood in previous years and destroy lawns and things like that. Yeah. On that night, but I have no problem giving out candy to college students, and I tell every single one of them. Now, make sure you go share with your teachers tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't even I don't even expect them to wear costumes. It was from living in Syracuse when most a lot of the kids couldn't afford costumes. Mm-hmm. Um, my thing is, if you got the guts to walk up to my door and say trick or treat, you're getting a piece of candy, damn it. Yep. There you I, go. Yeah, I mean, we give out candy left and right, and we don't give out like one piece. We give out like three or four handfuls. Yeah, yep, yeah. Oh, here's a question: uh-huh. How old were you? The last time you trick or treated for yourself, do you remember? Yeah. Thirty nine. <laughs> <laughs> beer. <laughs> hey, that's still trick or treating. Come on. Was I um, Murphy or was I commuter at that point? I was commuter twenty. I was nineteen. Uh, I went out to join the gang at Fisher. I was a commuter at that point. I was not living on campus yet, and I had not left Fisher yet at that point. I dressed in full run garb, so I had my cloak with me because it was a cool rainy night. And, uh, yeah, we, we patrolled uh, Pittsford, which was entertaining as hell because those people were snobby. But you got great candy. <laughs> mm-hmm. no, actually, actually, freshman was, year in college. Actually, I was 20. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My freshman year in college, we yep. went down French Road because I went to Nazareth. Yep. My college room, I borrowed. We went up French Road. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing I didn't meet you then. Yeah, I know. It's like, 
we passed each other. Yeah. And, 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 <laughs> and then we went. Then we went back to the dorms and we played D and D all night. Nice. <laughs> yep. Ah, so I was. Well, but that was because uh, my uh, folks need someone at home to uh, pass out candy for them. Because so. you have younger <laughs> siblings, right? Mm, well, there's Diana. She, w- uh, she yeah, would go out with had, friends. He always has one younger have... sibling. Everybody's older than him. Yeah, oh. and then I have my three older brothers because um, uh, when I turned 12, the uh, the one who's closest in age to me went off to college. So my parents need someone to stay at home and man, man the, the, man the shark. Man the candy. Yeah. Yeah. Man the shark. Now, that, the, this is truly my mom's, other than Christmas, my mom's favorite um, holiday of the year. Yeah, she's like Harold. We need to be at their house by five o'clock because we need pizza before we go out trick or treating with the kids. And I'm like, she <laughs> she'll take. She was taking Tyler out and things like that. And your they, mom is one of my favorite human beings. She she's just amazing. Loves she's this. hilarious. And, I mean, they came dressed as crayons one year. Yes, they came, <laughs> they came dressed as um, Bill and Hillary uh-huh. one year. They my dad I think had a Nixon mask on one year. And truly, when they they came dressed in um, costumes, scared the bejesus out of Tyler. <laughs> and Tyler must have been like three or four at the time. Uh-huh. He would not go to them. That's funny. He could hear their voices. He would not go. He would just like burrow into me. Cause, and then as soon as they took off their masks, then he knew. But for the longest time, he did not like anyone in masks. To be fair, he's 19. He still does that. But anyway. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. He's a he good doesn't, kid. He doesn't he like anyone in masks. So I don't when, blame him. When I was 20, my friend Dan, I was waiting tables in a local cafe in Clinton. Mm-hmm. My friend Dan stops in and he goes, what time are you out? I said, oh, 8 o'clock. He's like, go home. Put on a costume. We're going trick-or-treating. Yeah. I'm like, cool. Get home. I'm like, what am I going to wear? What am I going to wear? Junior prom dress. Still fits. <laughs> Woohoo! It's blood red. <laughs> you went as Carrie. I went, at, no, I was the prom queen from hell. Okay. And all and all I remember is I'm upstairs finishing up putting on makeup and teasing out my hair and my mom goes up and goes, Sherry, there's a Jewish wizard here for you. <laughs> <laughs> and there's my friend Dan in full wizard robes with a yarmulke and a scroll copy of the Torah stuck in his belt. That's amazing. And so a shout out to Dan Schneider, who now um, is can legally play with your head in two ways. He's nice. both he is both a psychiatrist and a neurosurgeon. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> All right. There's and, a, here's a mind job for you. Yeah. So big shout out to Dan, who I love you and I miss you. Happy Halloween, Dan. Uh, I, know, uh, I, I like Halloween. Go ahead, Monk. And then. Come on over here. I like Halloween. It, it's just, it's a fun time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Monk's up. Uh. Honestly, I was really looking forward to Shay be- coming over to our house so, we could tr- so I could take her trick-or-treating. Oh, that's your, your niece, Sherry Shay? Yeah. The little bug? How yeah. old is she now? Three? She, yes, just turned. Just turned three. Yes. But and unfortunately, we don't get her for Halloween. Aww. She has an old, she has an older half brother. Gotcha. That 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 night is. Do her, we know what her his. costume is this, tonight? Yes, because I made it for her. What is it? She is a little witch. Nice. <laughs> Aww. Oh, my yeah. goddaughter's being a witch as well this Halloween. I learned last year for Shay's costume when she was a little devil. Uh-huh. I learned how to make those um, those uh, netting tutu skirts. Oh, mm-hmm. uh huh. So last year it was red and black, and I got her a red sweater and a little pair of black leggings. And this year she's a witch, so her skirt is black and purple. Mm-hmm. And uh, Melanie, my cousin Melanie, got her her witch's hat, and she's adorable. This is my uh, niece's uh, first Halloween. I'm uh, very excited. I I actually just remembered that to- when you were talking about uh, your niece, and I was like. That's going to be exciting for mm-hmm. her. Well, not really because she won't remember. You know, I was going to say, she's, she's like a and couple you know, months old. Our, yeah. When, yeah, the when we first day, she moved never into our neighborhood, when Tyler was first born, you got to love our neighbors. Um, we took Tyler out trick-or-treating, and he was um, Winnie the Pooh. I mean, it was uh, freaking adorable. Our neighbors actually had baby food for <laughs> him for his little basket. Yeah. And, then, and nice. then they gave us candy or whatever because we were taking taking them out but that was like the best thing that people did How for cute. us in our yeah, neighborhood because we took them out um Riker is thanos tonight <laughs> <laughs> vaguely understand yeah that's uh so casting. he's got his infinity gauntlet that uh and it's not not the fabric gauntlet that came with the costume randy ordered him actually one that lights up and things like that so he'll probably only be able to wear it tonight because he's a big boy and it's only like a 12 14 so i think it's going to be a little snug on him. <laughs> so, 
We'll see. But he doesn't want to wear the, the face mask. Well, you know. One doesn't really think of fun while trick-or-treating, but this does put a smile on my face. <laughs> <laughs> that he's going to be Thanos? <laughs> he, he's just channeling the, the, the quote. That's he, fine. He can make half the uh, other trick-or-treaters disappear. He could. <laughs> <laughs> he probably wants to. Or he's going to make half the candy disappear. No, that's definitely going to happen. One of the last times I took... Lana trick or treating. Her um, one of her best friends, Briar, came, and um, <laughs> while the costume was very imaginative, it was not the best trick or treating costume ever. What was it? She was. He was a Dalek. Oh. oh. Trash can. Trash can and everything. Nice. And I'm just like, it's a great costume. You look fantastic. About halfway through, and he's like, oh. I was carrying it, and he was wearing my cloak. Okay. <laughs> my worst costume was my mom made me and my sister a pair of dice. Oh, <laughs> and she didn't cut out the hole in the top of the box the right way, and I tripped and fell and like totally like <gasps> oh. sliced my neck open. Oh jeez! Oh, no. So it was my favorite costume as a child because you know because the blood because gory happens. But it was just <laughs> ugh, my mom had these things about making all of us matching costumes. Yeah. That's cool. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. All well, right. See, from from someone that's an only child, that's cool. Yeah. So. So Yay! happy Halloween, everybody, and hope you My have fun tonight. My favorite was I was Princess Leia in third grade. That. I had the hair long enough to do the cinnamon buns and everything. Nice. Ooh. My sister did the same thing in third grade. <laughs> But my, but mine in third grade was like 1970, no, 1980. So I she don't... had like she had the long hair and she was able to do the cinnamon buns too. So I can't do them now. Hair's not long enough. Sad. But. I think we're ready for a break. I think we're ready yeah. for a break. And when we come we back, some candy. we'll wrap the day up and we'll go get some candy. Comedian Dana Gould. Nice. Halloween is actually a really interesting holiday. Halloween is when people you don't know come to where you live and take all your stuff. <laughs> Next up is Thanksgiving. Or as the Native Americans call it, Halloween. <laughs> Now, just because I said that, it doesn't mean I don't love the country. I love the country. And you know how I know I love the country? I've never screamed its name at a rally. <laughs> love is a quiet emotion. Love doesn't engender screaming. People don't come home from the hospital, baby, baby, baby. <laughs> the fact is, I've met far too many bald men with ponytails to expect this world to make sense. <laughs> That's outstanding. Love that. All right. So events. This is where we usually start talking about events, but we've just had a big one. Minicon's over with, so we don't have events anymore. And uh, we'll keep you posted, so keep listening. Keep watching our Facebook. Keep watching our Twitter feed. And we will have stuff going on in, going in the near future. Uh, so we're going to just jump right into the business aspect of things. And this is when I ask, hey, do you want to be a part of the FC3 Monkey Business Experience? Sure. There are a few ways. Thank you, Billy. I appreciate that. That was awesome. All right. Um, so there's a few ways to do that. The first is to become a sponsor. And we have sponsorship levels of all kinds and are even willing to create custom sponsorship packets. So please contact us at sponsorships at fc3roc.org. The next is by supporting us on Patreon. Please check us out at www.patreon.com backslash fc3roc. All membership levels will include access to the Patreon-only blog, plus tons of great perks at all levels. Now, we usually ask if you want to help others find the show. No, I'm going to ask you, please help others find the show. Uh, you can leave us a review wherever you listen to us. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spreaker, Podbean, YouTube, Stitcher. And Sherry has her hand up. And if you do leave us a review, we will give you a shout-out on the air. That's a thing. That actually happens. Mm -hmm. So no shout outs recently. No, nope. no shout outs lately. So, so send us a review. Yeah, so we can yeah. do a shout out. <laughs> uh, and now, is there a podcast you can't find FC Three Monkey Business? Let us know. We'll is see about fixing that up. You can't. Is there a place? Is there a time? Is there a? <laughs> We're tired. Yes, it's been a long day, and it's going to be a long, long night. <laughs> it's been a long week. It's going to be a long night. And please follow us on Twitter. Our handle is FC Three MB podcast if you do say hi we love it when you say hi hi hello hi sybil came back our sybil tribute <laughs> all right now our question of the week hey billy 
Hey, Chris. If you suddenly found yourself in the last scene you read or watched, where would you be and what are your chances of survival? Huh. Let's see. Watching the first, well, not the very first, but the first of the reboot seasons of Doctor Who again. Okay. And it was this the episode with Charles Dickens. Nice. The Unquiet Dead. And of course I wouldn't survive. I'm a chicken and I, I, <laughs> I would just... Die no matter what. See, no, you'd put me into an episode of Happy Days and Fonz would kick my ass. <laughs> yes. It's a matter of luck. Yeah. It happens. I got a rock. I got a rock. <laughs> Tanya, how about you? Um, uh, the last thing I watched was Witch Hunt by uh, NCIS. Mm-hmm. Um, I would probably be somewhere in the D.C. Virginia area and. My chances of survival are get, are good because Gibbs is coming for me. There you go. <laughs> Gibbs will rescue you. Yes, he will. Absolutely. Sherry. Um, I am currently reading Codex Born uh-huh. by Jim C. Hines. Okay. Um, the second second book in his Libromancer series. Gotcha. And um, I had to stop right in the middle of a very intense scene. Mm-hmm. Be- with Wendigos and Dryads. So and, you're in trouble. Oh, the Ghost <laughs> Army. Oh, God, yes. There's yeah. no way. They're, They're going to drop in her into the dense forest on oh. the talisman board. No. The That's Dryads. It. Yeah. <laughs> How about you, Angela? Um, I just watched a movie called The Love Witch, and I don't think they actually specified where it took place, but it looked like a small town, and I would probably be fine because the witch was killing men with her love. Oh. <laughs> Was it a bounce, chicka chicka bounce kind of movie? No. 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 Uh, no. There was nudity, but no. <laughs> I'm still watching it. All right. How about you, Ann? Uh, the last thing I watched, my child made me watch her three year old dance recital of Zippity Doodah. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> so so no. I really hope I died. <laughs> <laughs> that is outstanding. Slim to none for oh chances God. of survival. Uh, I just don't know how I can top that. <laughs> no. You can't. You can't, Tony. And but go ahead. Go ahead and throw uh, it in there. I, uh, I the last thing I watched was um, Walking Dead, uh, the most recent episode. Uh, and mm-hmm. prob- I don't know if I'm in Alexandria. Maybe if not, not I might be a zombie. I don't know. That's it. <laughs> That's it. How Are, about you, Monk? Uh, I read I, the new thing for Laura Olympus came out when mm-hmm. we were recording this. They we recorded this. And I, I would be stuck in the middle of a scene <laughs> with with Hades and Hecate uh, discussing this tabloid Uh-oh. that he- Hecate found on Hades and Persephone, and I'm pretty sure I would be interrupting and I would be dead. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, chicka chicka wow. wow. Not that kind of scene. <laughs> anyway. No, it's a really tabloid. Wasn't. Yeah. She said tabloid. Yeah, they were discussing on. one. Did you hear about the adult movie made on the farm? It's called Brown Chicken Brown Cow. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I should boo or moo. <laughs> Just but mm. no. moo. Damn. <laughs> there it is. Oh, All right, boy. so so for me, I, I actually would be almost, I would be geeking out hardcore because the last scene that I watched in an actual TV show, um, it, I, I will alert now, spoilers if you haven't watched it yet, it was the, uh, the, the end of the season for season one of Star Trek Discovery. Um. So I'd be on the bridge of the Discovery, hanging out with the crew, everybody's uplifted after they just, you know, beat the bad guy, solved the, you know, saved the world and everything, and they were heading off oh, to, yeah. to bring somebody home. Uh, to their their home planet, and they come across a distress signal, and you're watching everything. They're all trying to figure out. They're all talking to each other. They're all like, wait a minute. They're trying to figure this mystery out. And then the comms guy goes, I'm getting a registry number. It's Federation Registry, NCC17. And then you see it in the foreground. And then you see it. The Enterprise comes out of nowhere and is in front of the Discovery. And I'm like, (gasps) yay! Right? (laughs) So my geeky heart's going, yay, beat 100 minutes. And and then, you know, so I would be there at the moment, and that's good by me. So I'm okay with that. (laughs) they just released um, the Discovery season for the season two uh, trailer. No, for uh, oh. um, Star, Star Trek, Trek Online. Online yeah. yeah, I've been playing it. I've been uh, I've been playing that too. Wait, <clears throat> are you in a fleet? Yeah, no, I'm not in a fleet right now. You want to fleet up? Sure. Yeah, let's do it. All right. <laughs> How come I'm not surprised? <laughs> Tony, do you play Minecraft? Yes, I do. Oh. 
<laughs> I picked up a Minecraft addiction over the summer because of my son. That's wonderful. So. That's wonderful. <laughs> we have a. We'll, uh, we'll talk later. Our, our department has a uh, Minecraft server uh-huh. uh, oh, for boy. the computer engineers because Redstone. Redstone is literally how we how you do logic in uh, like how you teach logic. Okay. Digital logic to children. And redstone is a material that you can mine in Minecraft, so yes. I see how that fits together. All right. Very cool. So for Billy and for Tanya, for Sherry and Monk, for Angela, for Anne, for Tony, and for me, I am Chris. This is C. This has been Monkey Business, and Billy's going to find the music in yes, a moment. I am. That that uh, <laughs> there, there, it there it is. Sorry. A product of the Mighty Monkey Corporation, coming at you like a spider monkey. Uh, do we have any event? No, we, we are the purveyors and producers of the Flower City Comic Con, and we're working on that right now. Let's so, all go trick or treating. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go yeah. trick or treating. <laughs> so, Monks follow in. us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram, follow us wherever we go, and we will lead you to where the entertainment is. Love you, miss you. Can't wait to see you next week. Have a great one. Boom! Exciting. Boo. <laughs>